Good morning, everyone. Uh, today's video, as I uh, had made, said that I would bring you into my world, and hopefully this can um, help other people or you know connect with other people who deal with um, multiple chronic illnesses and who are. Uh, you know, I always joke and say a walk in pharmacy, but today I'm going to invite you into my world, my life, and as you can see, these uh, this is. I take all of this. I take all of this. It's um, that's my cup. I have to have. I keep a cup of ice because I do chew ice because I'm anemic, and I have to keep um, a beverage and I keep a bottle of water by my side at all times. But let's get started. I'm a type one diabetic. Diabetes is not a death sentence. It's not a death sentence. It's a lifestyle. You know, I've never had um only organ issues I had was when I didn't know I had high blood pressure. Now I do have uh, um, some liver issues, but they're minor uh, right now. Um, so, so this is this is a Dexcom. I'm going to what I how I manage my diabetes. This is my Dexcom. It um, goes in my arm, and um, I can show you real quick. It monitors my blood sugars 24 7 so i don't have to use this i only use this if my um this thing gives me the alert and it's lost connection too much and i'm not uh, comfortable with the blood sugar breeding may be i will use this i'll use this just to recalibrate my um sensor that's why we use this this is the Dexcom. These are, um, this is my Medtronic insulin pump. I've been on an insulin pump over 20 years. Um, these, this is a skin adhesive. It helps the, um, insulin pump, these reservoirs, the reservoir and infusion. This is what sticks to your skin. When using this, it helps, um, the adhesive stick better make sure it lasts these are what are called um they go over your Dexcom that's this little ring right here that helps secure it and it it's really gives you a watertight seal I shower I'm just, I take Novolol this, this one goes in my pump alcohol pads are very very important when you're dealing with anything you got to inject into your body you want to clean that skin and also you have to um when you open the insulin you have to wipe off the top you know but you use two different pads you don't use the same one you don't want to inject any germs into your body and this is how i this is i call it my shooter this is how i get this into my skin Usually just goes in my stomach. I have looks like dot to dot on my little belly. Oh, my child has arrived. My just with me. This I can't I I, I I can't pronounce it, but I used to carry a glucagon, but my husband and daughter just so eerie about needles in an event that I'm 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 really out of it and someone a response is this shoots up in your nose like a nasal spray and it brings you around and once you you still have to call 911 and you give you take this to the er or this should accompany you so they can um confiscate it or whatever and they give you a, another prescription but my doctor gives them to me um i have plenty of these because they're only a one-time use okay now that we've done diabetes now I'm going to move move on to asthma I'll put you on when I get ready to eat I'm going to move on to asthma I have a high what they I can't pronounce the word guys it's silly oh life is anyway <laughs> this is my facenra injection I take this every eight weeks it helps clean that um it's it from it's it, what it was called from my blood, and also it, it helps 
keep my lines open. Now, when I take this, I have to carry my EpiPen. I have to carry my EpiPen uh, for the first uh, two weeks. Now, when I first started on this, I had to carry EpiPen for, the, for uh, three months. But this, I only have to carry it for uh, two weeks after I take this. And I take this on um, January 15th, I take this dose. So I only take it every eight weeks. Okay. My peak flow meter. I have a baseline. You know, my base, I have a, you have a baseline. So I blow into this. And um, my baseline is, I know it by heart, so I don't have to write it down. Then I have my, oh, my diabetes. I carry these glucose tablets in my pouch or my purse, and I keep them in the car. And I keep them on my nightstand with also with juice. Okay, this is my pulse ox. My doctor, you know, when I'm having flare-ups, my asthma, I have to take my pulse ox. You know, 96, anything 96 below, my doctor has me call. I have to call in. This is my portable nebulizer. Um, it's portable. It has a USB port. You know, turn it on and it dispenses. Uh, this travels with me. It, it stays in my purse so I can have a breathing treatment at any time. This is the one that stays that this kept um, on my bed. Um, it, I have a little backpack that you know, that's kept in my bed. And this is the solution that goes in either machine. It's the albuterol. And this is what they look like. They're pre-mixed. I have them out. Just feel that. You just pop this thing off here, squeeze it in the reservoir, take your breathing treatment. This is real fast. The plugins, they, they kind of remind, they kind of a little slow, but they get the job done and you know, you. These, this is real fast. It pushes that stuff into you really, really quick. Okay. This is my rescue inhaler. I use this when I get into trouble. Um, when I, I'm all of a sudden short-winded. Um, this time of the season, fall, winter is my worst, my worst season. Um, but my nebulizer, portable nebulizer goes in this little pouch. And so this is my rescue inhaler. This is my albuterol rescue. And the stuff that goes in it never lies is a butyrol solution. This is Trilogy. This is um, something they just started me on. Um, because I have the issues with GI, it makes me cough. And because it makes me cough, it sets off, um, you know, a coughing surge. And this is my um, Spiriva. I take this twice a day. This is um, once a day. And this is my ad bear. I take this um, twice a day. Those are my, it's all my little ad. Now these right here, these are my rescue meds. Because I, ask, I vomit sometimes in my sleep and I aspirate, fluid gets in my lungs. So I have, I have to keep an antibiotic. These little pearls that are uh, like cough, you know, that cough uh, thing for the coughing and I have my pregnant zone I have to keep pregnant zone um it's a must have prescription at all the time this is my medication that I take every night for my um uh, migraines this is just for migraines it prevents them it prevents the migraine and it really you know before oh my god you, you know to try to take medication when you get the migraines is is this is kind of me. So they put me on these. This is my singular. I take this, you know, once a day. I take it in um, at night. So when I get up in the morning, if I, when I have doctor's appointments and I have to go out into the air, um, it's in my system. Okay, we're done with asthma. I'm done with asthma. Let's move on to my GI. My good old best friend. Okay. These are, these are these tablets here, I have uh, abdominal spasms. They're really chronic. If you have, uh, I have diabetic gastroparesis, chronic GERD, and I, it's, I also have um, 
dysmotility in my esophagus. Um, my small intestine and my large intestine. So these help with those hard days of flare-ups. I take these, these cute little babies. I take these, you know, in the morning at night. It's supposed to, it helps slow down the stomach acids that return while I sleep. Because when that happens, um, when I bump into my sleep at night, like I said, sometimes I aspirate because I am asleep. And I get a little bit, and then it causes infection. I have to take these. This and this sucker right here, these have to be taken. These must be taken before 20 minutes before I put anything in my mouth. And the um, this, these right here, all meals. 20 minutes before all meals. This is something, This I take this before I eat my first meal of the day, my breakfast. Because I already have these, and so... My um, beds have to go in applesauce. So I'm, I'm going to have my coffee after I finish this. So I'm going to just do this now. See, when it gets stuck right here because my esophagus doesn't contract enough to push food through. And sometimes it's really hard to get a swallow started. And once it it gets started. You can, I can feel it. I can actually feel the teeny weeny pills and applesauce that's sitting right here. So um, I drink li li liquids. Try to get it through. <clears throat> oh, sorry. See, this way. It's, it's, it's sitting there. So once it goes through, it's going to stop here. It's going to stop right there. And it's going to sit there. And it, it's going to just, it's going to sit there. And it's very uncomfortable. It feels like, you know, because anything that you, if it has not moved and anything that goes in your mouth that gets through this, it's going to come back because there's blockage. It's a, it blocks it right there. And then it takes forever to get through. Um, this, this right here, this is for my flare-ups, my emergency flare-ups, gastroparesis. This is for my nausea and vomiting. Um, you have those spells. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. Now, all of my um, pills are crushed. Um, the teeny weeny ones, like I just showed you, I can put those in applesauce and they'll go down, but my other stuff has to be uh, crushed. Put that over there. And these are for, uh, this is chronic spasm. These are for my chronic spasm, how you cycle me. Okay, with gastroparesis, you can go from diarrhea to constipation. So, diarrhea, you know, it has to run its course. It has to run its course, and that's why you just, you, you come off, um, you do clear liquids, and you take your, because uh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. A gastroparesis attack, it's going to hurt. I'd rather give birth naturally to a 12 pounder with a 18 inch head circumference. But um, I split um, peels um, and put them in a, sometimes I put them in the food crusher. Sometimes I have this mallet. I just put them in the sandwich bag because I set my meds up for the, um, for two weeks. I set my meds up for two weeks so I can do all that at one time. This is when I, the constipation, like I was telling you, like you go, I like these because they're convenient and yeah, I don't, I don't go out to eat because it's nothing on a menu for me except a freaking baked potato. The world is not friendly to me. So I eat at home because I have to also know what's in things because I can't have raw fruits, raw veggies, um, no beef, no pork. My body rejects them. So I get a cap of this and I mix it in, you know, lemonade, the sugar-free lemonade, because this has no taste, it has no color. But I like these little packets. Um, I carry these with me, and then my, I I take these when I do get into trouble again. Like I said, with constipation, I take a buckle lax. 
And I take a Seneca. Now, all three of these Seneca, Ducklets, and Miralets must be taken together. I can't take this one day and this one day. It has to be taken together. And um, to get through that constipation, that slow motility, uh, what causes that extreme constipation is, you know, I take three of these, three of these, and then I'll take this three times, three times in that one day to hopefully jumpstart some contractions to get things moving again. Okay, these are my eye drops that I take. I have glaucoma in both eyes. Okay, now, let's move on to eye battle. People call it the big D word, it's depression. It was really hard for me to accept the fact that I could not do things that I got used to. I've had spine surgery cervical fusion so my entire cervical spine is fused i have a 16 inch rod with um, 16 titanium screws they're from here down to here and i have um some cracked disc in my lumbar now with which i'm opting out of surgery i'm tired of being cut on i've had so many surgeries i'm, I'm tired of being cut on okay this these are for my um for my depression this is this this is my um depression my anxiety because i get worked up i'm a worried ward about stuff and i do have some ocd it's, i don't like dishes in my sink i do have a little bit of ocd and this is for my sleep these are uh, this is taken in my my anxiety and this taken at night. A lot of my chronic, uh, some of my medicines, my they're taken at night. So when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. A train could come through this house and I wouldn't wake up. So all that goes over there. Okay, now we're going to move on. To, this is my basic. This is my high blood pressure. I used to take cholesterol, but I can't take cholesterol medicine anymore because it really was damaging my liver, all those statins. So, and I don't eat enough anyway, and I don't eat fried food. So, my uh, doctor, I don't really. I take an aspirin. I take an aspirin. Just have my blood pressure medicine. And this is a um, combo pill. Um, it controls the blood pressure and protects my kidneys at the same time. Because you definitely want to protect your kidneys when you have diabetes. And uh, this right here is for my neurological disorder. It's treats dementia. I don't have dementia. But because I've had many strokes back to back to back, it affected the way I learn. Um... And I was diagnosed with dimaliated disease back in 2006. It's like a form of MS. Um, but I had been doing really good until about um, about two years ago. Yeah, um, it's so many things. You have chronic pain. And I have fibromyalgia. And it, it just, I have a whole lot of stuff. So if you don't take your health for granted. Please don't ever take your health for granted. And the things that you can do, you know, some stuff like get into a get into a stop sign and you know you not remember how you got to that stop sign. And this is my blood pressure monitor. I have to take my blood pressure uh, three times a week. And I have to keep a log um, for my doctor. My insulin pump and my Dexcom is connected to my uh, endocrinologist office. So she gets to see anything if when I call in, you know, I'm having some bad times and she, yeah, I can't readjust my pump because I don't understand. I can't remember. I get really confused about the ratios and stuff. So I have to go into the office and get my pump adjusted by um, my endocrinologist 
even if she when she puts it in an email, I just I can't understand. I I can't understand. And I do crossword, not crossword. What else thing called those little puzzle things? You know, with the cardboard. You know, um, you can put them together. I do those to help me focus. And I do um, word search, and I play games on my phone. I do a lot of I do matching games. And so now we're moving on to my crying pain. Oh my god! I have. <laughs> Um, I cry pain factors. I have fibromyalgia. So, this is my tense unit. You know, sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. Usually, I just put it on. It's, this main is for my spine, my lower spine. Hussie just came in from work. These big dumbbells. Gabapin. Good old Gabapin. I take 3,600 milligrams of this a day. I have chronic lead spasms. Uh, when I have these lead spasms, they lock up my feet. My legs become very heavy. You cannot touch them. You cannot move them. Um, they feel heavy to me, but the sensation of anyone touching them, um, to rub them, to comfort them, it's all an all out war. So I don't, you know, they, they hurt so bad. I mean, my mom and my sister, they had never seen it one time and I was there and they, they saw it and they was trying to figure out, well, what can we do? It's nothing you can do. So, and this is my um other me. It's for my it's for my fibromyalgia. Um, it's a compound drug. You can't I can't take it at because it does cause an insomnia and I already have a sleep issue. You have to take it in the morning, so at nighttime you'll be able to sleep because if not, you will be awake. You will definitely be awake. These are my leg compressors. I put these on at night because it's just like the ones they have in the hospital. And on my bad days when I have to, I'm confined, I just have I confined to the bed or to the chair. I um use this. It has molds on it and it circulates my my blood. It really improves my circulation. They have one that you can put in the car. And I said I was gonna get one of those for when we travel and we driving. Um, I have had an issue with blood clot, so me sitting on a plane for four or five hours because I want to go. I really want to go to Vegas, and um, so this. And I have one more thing I want to show you guys, and um, This is a um, lidocaine. Not the stuff you buy over the counter. This is prescription. You can only get it through prescription. But it's just like the stuff that um, they numb your gums with when you go to the dentist. And it numbs me. And you, you have these gloves when you put this on. You don't put this on with a naked hand. And um, this is my shark containers. Um, they send me this. Every time they send me my thing for my injection. And if you don't have a shark container, you're that big, you know, you can take a, one of those coffee cans or whatever and dispose of your needles. And um, you have to seal the can up completely. And they say you can toss it. But I've never done that. I just do this. And uh, my doctor, oh, I have a lot of doctors. So um, my uh, endocrinology department, they would just let me bring these. And my pulmonologist, they let me just bring these in. And they dispose, they'll dispose of my needles. But anyway, guys, that's it. 
that's my world so all of this i have to take it's an everyday thing but it doesn't define me i still keep going i'm gonna keep going till i can't go anymore enjoy your day